Okay, I'm going to show you how a Chromebook might look from a student's perspective and how to use it on your own laptop, how to use Chrome. Um, basically, you know, full disclosure, I'm using a PC right here to do this recording, but if a student were to open a Chromebook, this is what they would see. Um, there isn't any other real desktop, it's just this home screen, and by default some applications are loaded, so they would log on and Gmail, um, their, their whatever Gmail account they logged in with, if they open it up, that'll be their Leiden account. Their calendar, uh, Google Docs is there, YouTube's there by default, Scratchpad, which is basically a little, little notepad, um, but then this thing called the Web Store. Now, I'm going to go and show you how to install an app, look for an app and install it if you want to start playing around with this. But for, on the student side, we would control what apps they could have and what apps they couldn't. Um, the reason this came up is because a, a teacher asked me, hearing about the Chromebook and understanding we can't install a native app, well that teacher wanted to do podcasting, or wanted to have her students listen to a series of podcasts, and without iTunes installing it, how are you going to do that? Well, let me show you how it works. Um, so I'm in Chrome, I go to the web store, and if you've used iTunes, it looks a lot like iTunes. Um, the Chrome Web Store, and you just, you can search. So what I did was I searched on podcast player, and one pops up. Um, like the iTunes Store, a whole bunch of stuff is there that may be good, may not. I happen to know that podcast player pro is what I want. Um, but you can look at it. You can look at reviews. You can look at screenshots. Um, you can see that it's free, which is always a good thing. And most of them are free on here. But you can, you know, dig into it a little bit. What I'm going to do is just add it to Chrome install podcast player pro install it and there it is all right so what I'm gonna do is open it up and I've already played around with this a little bit so this National Gallery of Art videos shows up yours might be blank but if you want to do a podcast search so if you want to search on I don't know news down there there's a bunch of news podcasts that show up um, I'm gonna choose global news Maybe a global studies class might be interested in that. I don't know. And here are the podcasts for global news. So, you know, news from around the world. And you can take a look and, um, you know, try one of these out. It's news today. Coming up, Burma starts to set free political prisoners. But is this enough? One newly released prisoner gives us his view. Okay, and you get a sense of what that is. If you want to subscribe to it, and always have it over there on the left under your subscriptions, you could have students do this as well. You want them to subscribe to a particular podcast, that's great. Um, and you can have them search on whatever subject area you want. Really, I mean, there are podcasts for just about any subject area you can possibly imagine. Another way to do this, if you, the teacher, have a bunch of podcasts that you, you have found, and you've got it to say on your iTunes, because again, remember, teachers will have their personal PC computers. But let's say you're using iTunes and you've subscribed to a bunch of podcasts that you want your students to uh, subscribe to. Well, you could tell them what they are and have them search for it and, and go one by one like I did here with Global News. There's also a way to export a file from iTunes, send it to your students via their Gmail, and have them import it. I'm not going to show you how that works. It's really easy, but I just want to show you that it can work, and it can be really easy. So let's say I, the teacher, I'm on my iTunes. I want my all of my students to subscribe to a series of podcasts. And so I sent them, so let's pretend I'm a student right now. So I'm going to go to my email, and I've, I've saved an email that I've sent to myself. So imagine this is me, the teacher, sending me, the student, um, this particular file. And don't really, again, worry too much about that. I, we can show you how that works. Um, but it's a particular file you export from, say, iTunes. And what I'm going to do, oops, sorry, on a Chromebook it's actually much easier. I'm going to just drag it off to my desktop. And you can do that, actually, on a Chromebook. You can um, save some files either to a flash drive or, or to the hard drive. Um, but it's, um, I'll just show you how it works in a Windows file. So basically, long story short, I've got this file that I've sent to myself, the teacher has sent me, and I have saved to my machine here, and I'm going to import that file, and 
and just like it, you know, finding an attachment, I have to find it. And again, on a Chromebook, it's actually much easier to find these. Okay, and I just found it, double clicked on it, and I've set up um, a whole bunch of podcasts just from different subject areas. You can see them start to pop up over here. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, the History Chicks is actually really kind of cool. Um, it's all about women in history, and it's a fun podcast for history. 60 Second Science is pretty cool. Um, lots of interesting science facts there. Freakonomics is actually really neat. I get kind of lost in there. Um, if you've ever never read, ever read any of those books, they're really good, and it's a, a good podcast about that. Uh, the Fitcast, it's a fitness and nutrition podcast. The National Gallery of Art, it's actually a video podcast. So I won't go through it totally, but... Um, I clicked on this and you can see over here a little video screen popped up and if I hit play let's see what happens okay and you can see the video coming through in there yeah, I never seen this and I'm gonna hit here. full screen for a second what we start to study the, the brush strokes the way the waves were painted the rigging on the ships okay, so I mean there are different kinds of podcasts as well there are video podcasts um, the Global News, 60 Second Science. So let's say, you know, again, I wanted um, my students to uh, look at a particular podcast, like, uh, let's say, in Italian. Because so I think in modern languages, it's pretty cool. Um, hmm. I don't know. Italian survival phrases, that might be good. see what those look like. I'll try another one. Okay, so learn Italian. ItalianPod101.com. I don't know if these are good or bad or whatever, but again, anything you want. Ciao a tutti! Benvenuti su ItalianPod101.com well, I'm going to stop that because they could be swearing and I might not know it because I don't speak Italian. But that's an idea of how this could work. Um, again, from a student's perspective, they could see all of this and they could have um, that podcast player or any other number of apps. You know, this might not apply to you as far as podcasting. But if you're working in Chrome, um, this is how it works, how you kind of get to that window. Everything is in these tabs. So my email is there. This is there. If I want to find those apps where it had Gmail and Calendar and Docs, I just click this little plus here and it pops up. So anytime you want to get back to here, you just click on this little plus and there's another one. Okay. So that's kind of how it works. Um, again, we, we may have to, um, we'll have some fun looking at different kinds of apps and see how that might work from a student perspective. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of a sense of, you know, how Chrome works, how um, a Chromebook might work. And uh, that's all I got. Take it easy.